Hi, today we will see how to use the new version IP adapter V2. And first of all, of course, a huge thanks to Mateo, the creator of the IP adapter, and for those who don't know his channel yet. You should visit it, and of course give it a big like because without it many of the things we do with these tools were not possible. So, as always, we will start at the beginning, and the first thing is to update Comfy, enter the manager and click update Comfy UI, now you need to update the IP adapter node, for me it worked through the manager, without any problem, but if it doesn't work for you, it is possible to update manually. You will find in the description of the video a link to this GitHub page and from here you can also reach all the models you need, but if you have already worked with the previous version of the IP adapter, you probably already have these models on your computer. The important thing to remember, that in this version the models should be in another folder ComfyUI slash models slash IP adapter, as you can see here, so before we start Comfy again, we will create this folder, and I chose to move the files and paste them in the new folder. You can also create a link to the location their old one using the extra model paths.yaml file. After we updated to the v2 version, let's load workflow that I already worked on with the previous version, so that we can see what happens and how the workflow can be adapted to the new version, as you can see, we get the node to the old IP adapter in red, and so that the transition to the new version will be the fastest and effectively. I can choose from the menu two main nodes, IP adapter advanced and IP adapter tiled, the options we have in both are almost the same, only in tiled we have the option of sharpening the image that we load to the IP adapter and the main difference between these nodes is that tiled corresponds to the images that are more panoramic and not square. And also prepares them for the IP adapter, so I don't need the prepare image to clip vision node, so in this case I will continue with the tiled one. We will connect all the spaghetti from the old IP adapter to the new one, and back to the K sampler, and press Q. And you can see that we got this error message, and that's because we didn't delete the old node. So we'll just delete the old IP adapter, and press Q again. And now everything works as usual. I will of course update all the workflows I uploaded in the descriptions of the videos, so you can use with the new version. Let's do a short experiment to see that everything really works for us. In some of the last videos, we saw a very good technique that allows the face of a certain character to be integrated into a new image, we used a combination of the IP adapter and the reactor, I will leave a link in the description, to these videos, for those who missed it. So let's see if this technique still works with the new version. There is a very simple workflow adapted to LCM, which you can also find in the description of the video if you want to play with it a bit, and let's build together what is needed for the IP adapter. I choose the node IP adapter advanced to which we will connect the model, here I choose plus face, we will load our reference image, clip vision, remembering to match workflow in our case 1.5, and we will connect the model to the model and back to the K sampler, we will press Q, and put everything in group, to be more organized. And this is the result we got. Let's go through the second pass, copy the K sampler, the VAE decode and the preview image and paste with all the connections with Ctrl plus Shift plus V, connect the latent from the first K sampler, change the seed, the denoise, and extract Q. And this is the result we got after the second pass, now we will connect the reactor, to the result we got and to the reference image, and this is the result after the reactor, I'll try with face restore model, and this is the final result we got, which I think is very relative close to the reference image. So as you have seen it is quite simple to update the old workflows with the new version of the IP adapter. And again, a huge thank you to Mateo for his contribution to Comfy, and to the community. So I hope you learned and we will meet in the next lessons. You are of course welcome to ask questions, subscribe to the channel, and like, if you liked it. And most importantly, have fun, bye.